Very sad, right? Very, very sad. Indeed, sad. What we just finished watching right now is very, very sad. And it's exactly what is happening today in Sokoto. Now, do you understand that the life of our people living in Sokoto are not safe? At the same time, our people living in Sokoto, I keep on saying this to you all, that you must defend yourself. It does not matter. Because there is a time they will push you people to the wall and there is no way to go back. That is why you have to prepare yourself and make sure you defend yourself at all times. It does not matter where you find yourself. We now, as we just finished watching this video, those are our women trying to escape, trying to save their life from the hands, hands of terrorists in the northern part of Nigeria. The hands of the terrorists in the northern part of Nigeria, they are chasing our people. Some of them, we are not sure if they are going to survive it. There is no how you be sure that these people that we just finished watching their video will survive it. And now ask BBC. BBC, they have entered into a wahala because for them to come out and begin to say all manners of things, things that they know that we, the media warriors or indigenous people of Biafra, we are innocent. We are fighting for survival. We are fighting for our dignity, our motherland called Biafra, which is there before they came. Biafra was there. We have our head of state. We have our currency. We have our borders. So I don't know why these people don't want us to be free. Now you understand what they are doing to our people. And I don't think that BBC are doing something as I'm speaking to you people now. I don't think they have done anything. I don't think they have already, I mean, trying to cover the killings of the Igbos in Sokoto today. I don't even think that these people are doing that. I don't even think that BBC see what is happening. I know that <clears throat> BBC have turned a blind eyes against the killings of Igbo today in Sokoto. They say it's about Christianity. I told them they should forget about Christianity. Christianity is not the problem. Being you a Christian is not the problem. It's all about ethnic cleansing. It's all about conquest. It's all about Fulanization, Islamization of the whole indigenous people because Fulani have come to rule. Now you understand what we're talking about. They are trooping from Sahel to that contraption. That is why you see all this thing is happening today. We saw our women running, running for their life, climbing ladder to escape. And who knows if they will survive this? We just saw the video. And of course, why these people show the video should be in case tomorrow. They have to video it. And everything you people are doing have to be documented so that we can be able to push this to where it's supposed to go. We will keep on creating the awareness. We will keep on telling the world what is happening in that contraption called Daminable Zoo. We will keep on telling them what is happening in that Daminable Zoo called Nigeria. We have said it time with our number. Allow us to, to have our referendum. Let us now choose our faith. Where do we want to belong to? Allow us to live as a woman. But the British people and BBC said no, that we are not women. Today, I don't know how many dead they have already, I mean, recorded. Because BBC is not there. So who are those people that are going to record the dead, the genocide they are committing against people today? You see how they are chasing our people. You see how our people were jumping from ladder. Some of them may jump and they will break their leg. And how are they going to survive? If you escape today, are you going to escape tomorrow?
This is the question that we're supposed to be asking ourselves. And I don't believe that BBC, they are there. BBC, anybody that see this video, you can also tag it to BBC. Anybody that see this video, you should also tag it to a, 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 a House of Commons. They should tag it to British people. They should tag it to Katrina Line. They should tag it to Katrina Line. Because they are the people that are causing the problem in that contraption today. Because they believe that they, without us, they can never survive. They want to milk us. They want to turn us a poverty. They want to make us poverty ourselves. That is why today when you go to our land, they have already destroyed everything we have. They have used the gas and pollute all our airs. You will go to our land today, people are just dying like a fowl. Which in Europe, where the mineral resources, some of the country that have mineral resources, they always protect their air because they, they know that all these things, they are also dangerous to human. But in Africa, they don't care. Go to our place in Ogoni. Go and see how Ogoni started. Go and see the Ogoni cleaning up to date. Nothing has been happened there. The places that the oil are coming from, they don't care about you. That is what I'm trying to let you people know. These people don't care about you. And they can never care about you. Till we restore Biafra. Till we begin to contribute to the GDP of the world. That is when they will begin to respect you. And the British people don't even want us to survive to show ourselves what we can do for humanity. They don't even want us to do so. They want the world to always see us as a weaker person, weaker people, to see us as people that cannot stand on their own, to see us as some, like people that they need help always. That is why they will keep on suppressing us, doing all manners of evil to our people to make sure that we never stand. But we have told them enough is enough. Our people in Sokoto, defend yourself. But this video that I'm bringing to you people is to show people what is going on because BBC can never show it. And we have come to begin to show, tell the people our story. We are telling people our story. We can never allow them again to begin to fabricate lies, concord stories about who we are. We have to tell the world who we are. And that is exactly what we are doing today. We have made it to the media. We have gotten to the media. We are now topping to the topping, topping in the media. That is why we will keep on doing this. We have saw the video. It's very, very, you know, you know, you know, you know, shocking, shocking moment. But we know that all this thing will happen because full of on their conquest, ethnic cleansing, this is how it is. And I pray that all these, our sisters, those we see there, we don't know what will happen to them tomorrow. Today may be a good day for them. What of tomorrow? This is what I bring to you, my people, to see how they are maiming our people, how they are destroying our people, how they are killing our people. BBC is nowhere to be found today. BBC, you can never see them till the genocide will be end. They will come out and begin to yap, begin to give disinformation to the world, telling them that it's a crisis, telling them it's a just fracas, telling them that it's just a, 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 just a small problem between a group of people. But you don't don't know that genocide they have already committed the genocide british people allow people to have their freedom we have come bbc you people can never you see as far as you people have purchased you people's uh i mean in this uh our struggle we will keep i will keep on calling you people there's no stop every of my broadcast bbc must enter there and this time around we want bbc to come Come and tell us. Go and make documentary about those women that are jumping from ladder. Something that can never happen in British. Something that you can never see in London. Something that you can never see in Europe is today happening. Killing people, you people cannot see it. Tomorrow you will come and say the Biafran IPOB are the people that are causing the problem. And we have more than seven terrorist groups in northern part of Nigeria today. They are terrorizing our people, killing and maiming. They, our people are displacing today. BBC is nowhere to be found. My people keep on calling BBC. Those of you that I will make comment here, make sure you tag BBC. Make sure you tag BBC, please. I greet you all.
good day